Hello, it's Scott Fox from ExpertWebsiteReviews.com and ClickMillionaires.com. We're going to look at HideMyTV.co.uk today for our very good friend, Click Millionaires member and repeated featured member award winner, Eva Davies, out of the United Kingdom. Eva's got a site today to share with us called HideMyTV.co.uk and you're looking at it already. As you can guess, it's a very innovative new vendor that helps you hide one of those big flat screen TVs that you have. They've got a variety of solutions, and we're going to talk about how to improve this site to increase the sales of this new venture that Eva has embarked upon with her husband, Steve. So thanks for submitting this site, Eva. I look forward to reviewing it for you, and thanks for all your friendly participation at Click Millionaires. All right, so let's look at this site. We've got a very classy looking a black background website selling some very high end and innovative looking uh, TV related products. You can see it's a very pretty site, lots of great imagery, and we're going to do our best here to help Eva pick it apart a little bit to try to improve her sales and improve the appeal. My main objective with this review actually is to help her communicate more clearly the unique value proposition that this new venture offers because I think. It's a little bit muddy, actually. This is the sort of work we do all the time at expertwebsitereviews.com, so if this sort of review looks helpful to you, head on over there and find out how you can get one. All right, Eva, so hidemytv.co.uk. I like the site. It's I really like the idea behind the site. As we've talked about in the Click Millionaires Forum, I think it's a very uh, clever idea, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it grows for you, especially since it is a spin-off of your already successful Electronic Zone website. But what are the faults? What could we what could we upgrade here to help you improve your sales? Well, let's see. Let's start at the top. I would start up here. I have a problem, honestly, with this tiny font you're using. Um, it's it's gray on black and it's very small. I've got fairly young eyes and good vision, but I'm pretty sure that some of the folks that are going to see this video, and especially in your target demographic of wealthier older people who can afford to hide their big flat screens this font is not going to work real well for you. In fact, I would brighten up the font on the whole site here. The contrast is really quite low. So that's one overall design suggestion. Now my biggest tip here is that honestly I've looked at the site a couple times now. We've talked about it in the forum. I know you're going to find this hard to believe even. I hope you're not offended, but I'm still not sure what it is you do. And I mean literally, what do you do? Are you selling TVs? Are you selling installation services? Are you selling the covers and the installation together? I Honestly, I don't know. And even in the forum, in the website tune-up community clinic materials that you sent me, you referred to the site as, a, as selling high-end hidden TV technology. So that still doesn't tell me what you do. And I think you really need to clarify that here so that your unique value proposition is available more quickly to the customer. Are you selling TVs or not? I, I kind of don't think you are. I think you're selling the boxes and these things that mask the TVs, but I think that needs to be clear. The only clear hint I have is this little tiny slogan up here, innovative solutions to make your TV disappear. So that suggests to me you're selling the, inst the, the, the materials and perhaps also the installation services to install them. Now I think that needs to be clear and I think it needs to be right here. I don't think you need copy about the television screen is now an established part of our living areas. I and mean, that's old news, right? I mean, it's clearly, I'm not arguing with the fact, but it's, who cares? If I'm looking for this site, I want to know what you can do for me, and it's difficult for me to figure out what it is. Now, in the third line, you say, let us show how you can effortlessly hide your TV no matter what room or location. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. That, I think, could maybe be your first line, frankly. Um, there's a copywriting decision as much as anything, but I think you need to explain more clearly right away what it is you do and why you're the place to do it. And that touches on your other thing. Apparently, you're the only website on the internet these days that offers this service. So I would make more noise about that as several of the other commenters have already said in the Click Millionaires forum. Okay, moving along. If you can clarify what it is you do and what you don't, you're also going to want to mention the geographic radius because if you're doing installations, well, you're probably just doing them in the UK. You're probably not going to come here to Los Angeles and hide my flat screen, are you? I wouldn't make a big deal of that, but it should be clear pretty quickly because the internet is going to attract people from all over the world. With a .co.uk domain, of course, it will be a little less, but still, it pays to be clear and use the customer's time wisely. Now, uh, I love the imagery here. 
Uh, the slides you've gotten from your suppliers, very nice, very pretty. I think they're going a bit fast. Other people have said it in the forum, and I agree. Um, let me look at these a little bit. Or maybe uh, instead of full screen ones, you could do a, a slide and then some close-ups or something. It's just a little bit visually overwhelming. You've got so many nice images that I think it's actually distracting from your sell. And after all, this is an e-commerce site. You're trying to sell things. So you're not trying to be a gallery. You're trying to be a sales site. And that means just enough uh, imagery to attract the clicks and the sale. Not enough to just impress them and overwhelm them. And I think you might be tipping a little bit towards the overwhelm side because you have such a number of pretty pictures. Now, moving along here. So search by room. Well, this is interesting, but it, it could be very valuable if I was sure what you did. If I'm searching by room, okay, bathroom, am I looking for TVs that can stand up to moisture uh, in the bathroom with a shower and so forth? Or am I looking for, again, the solutions to hide the TV in the bathroom? Uh, I'm not clear, honestly. Uh, commercial hotel, I guess you're offering services to those folks. Again, it couldn't hurt to say commercial hotel installation services or something like that that made it a little clearer. Marine, someone commented in the forum that they weren't clear what this meant. Uh, I think saying yachts or luxury yachts is a, is a good uh, approach. Uh, marine to me means uh, military, as you know, or something sea connected, but I didn't either realize that it meant yachts until you click on it. Well, actually, let's click on it. You've got some great shots here. It's very clear once you click on that page what's going on in terms of, oh, it's a, it's a boat. What a beautiful boat, you know? And uh, that, I think, is very speaks well. And here you use the phrase luxury yachts, but I think you might want to use that up in the header as well. Now, Bespoke is a word you're going to really have problems with if you're dealing outside the United Kingdom. At least here in the States, bespoke is actually a nonsense word. There is no such word as bespoke in American English, unless you've spent some time in the UK like I have. So I know that that means custom or personalized. But if you're hitting an American audience at all, that isn't going to help at all. So it's up to you in terms of how you're going to draw the boundaries of your service. But literally, it's hard for... Um, the English people, British uh, folks, to imagine that bespoke is actually not a word at all in English, in American English. Just like whilst. I used to work with a bunch of Brits, and they would say whilst this and whilst that. And what do you mean? They mean while. Americans say while. Well, bespoke means custom in English, and if that would get you two for one, you might want to switch it to custom. Now, your about page uh, is empty. Now, obviously, that's a big no-no. Uh, let's get that about page working. We can uh, tell a little... I'm sorry, this isn't the empty one. Uh, you've added this since uh, last time I looked. Uh, but you need to put something in here, and I would go with something a little personalized. This is nice, but again, you have this gray on black. It's very hip-looking. But it doesn't really give me a warm and fuzzy feeling. How about some pictures of people, your team, uh, why you do this, a little of the story behind it, uh, things like that. This is very corporate. And that's not a bad thing necessarily, but I think you can do some corporate and add some personality at the same time. Moving along, the Contact Us page also works. You've got a form here. But I have, again, here uh, some questions about contrast. I can't see here where I'm supposed to put my name in. Now, obviously, I'm smart enough to know that I probably click here and I can type. Yeah, there it is. But again, very small font, very dark gray on black, and I couldn't even see the field. So I would see if you can make these fields white or gray or something so they end out so people know what to do. It's not rocket science, but if you're making it harder for customers, you're not going to get as many leads. And then lastly, news. This one, I want you to cut this. Why do you have a news section here? It's empty. You don't really have news. I think you're confusing perhaps a blog with a retail site. If this is your retail site, then you don't need news except if it's going to pump you guys up. And if it is, it probably isn't something you need in the top nav bar, especially if it's empty like this as it has been for, looks like, uh, over a year and a half. Uh, I think you could probably just cut that until you really have something to say. And even then, it probably goes down in the bottom uh, and the lower down with your uh, entries down here perhaps. All right, moving along. Um, the search box. I'm not sure why you have a search box. People do this a lot lately. Unless you have something really to search for, I'm not sure you need a search box. Now, maybe you do. I don't know what the whole back-end situation here is, but you're using some valuable real estate with that search box, and unless people are coming to the site and not finding what they're looking for, then you don't really need a search box. It might save you some, some space. Um, Let's see, I wanted to also point out, you have all these pretty pictures. I think you need to do some sort of rationalization. Unfortunately, I don't have a real clever idea how to do that, but this is a little bit overwhelming. Uh, you might think a little more about your navigation strategy. And then down here, well, it's actually off the screen, you can't see it, but just down here, you've got a copyright 2010. I would update that. In fact, I recommend leaving off the year 
precisely for this reason, because people forget to update it. And then it looks like your site is out of date. It makes me think the site is dead. Because um, there is, as pretty as it is, there isn't much personality to it. There's no people. No, I don't feel Eva or Steve in the room with me talking. Um, now, of course, you've tried to address that with the chat uh, links that you've offered. You've got your phone number up here, and you've got this email list here. Now, as you joke, those are all ways that they can contact you. But I think you need to think a lot more about what you're driving the customer to. You need a clearer value proposition. This is what we do. This is what we don't do. This is where we do it. This is where we don't do it. The first of those is far more important than the other three. This is what we do. Clearly and simply, we offer this, this, and this. I think that needs to be up front here. And then you need to drive people. Think directly about the click stream. You don't want any point of this to have them more than three or at most four clicks away from driving them towards this, the contact us. That is your objective, right? At least I think it's your objective. When I asked your, your objectives in the Click Millionaires forum, you said your number one was to email us their requirements or make an inquiry. Well, I would think backwards. Work from your Contact Us page and work backwards so that every page is only two or three levels away from the front page and that everything in between, you're making a sandwich here of the home page and then the contact page, everything in between the meat of the sandwich is your product pages. And that should be it. Bing, 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 bing. And, and think about that. And I think you're doing a decent job, but I think as mentally you need to think more about getting people to contact you or give you their email addresses than showing off all these beautiful TVs and all this great art sol solutions you have. You guys become charmed by the products you have, and that's cool. They're beautiful. But it's a bit overwhelming, I think, and you need to think more about uh, you've kind of crossed the line in terms of being excited about it, and I think you need to think more about how do you get the information and follow up and make the sale, because that's what this is about, being a quick millionaire, right? Along those lines, um, I think uh, this join our mailing list, as you called it out yourself in the forum, you need that a lot bigger. The contact us and the join our mailing list need to be the focus, frankly, of the whole site. Click here to get a quote. I mean, there should be a big button here right on the home page, and this join our mailing list that is, those two things deserve to be as big or bigger, at least mentally, if not physically, as these huge graphics that you have on every page. You're using a lot of space for all these images, and then you have all these other images, and yet you have just this little mailing list thing here, this tiny contact us up here. You repeat the mailing list with, with a graphic here that's frankly kind of ugly compared to all the quality of all your other graphics, and then down here you have a contact us request to call back. I don't want you to redo the whole site, but you need to rethink your strategy. The whole site is not about all these pictures. It's about this. It's about this contact us and callback request. Okay, that's what I want you to focus on because that's how you're going to make some money here. And I think you are going to make some money. It's a very cool site, a very cool service, innovative. You dominate the niche. Frankly, I'm wondering also strategically if you could, if you are only serving the UK, what can you do to take over the space in the States too? Maybe there's something you can do e-commerce-wise that you wouldn't have to come and do in-person installation or, or skip the bespoke stuff. I mean, if you guys are ahead on this, take over the world, right? Does somebody own HideMyTV.com? Why don't you do that too? Why not, right? Um, I think you should at least reach in that direction if you can or stake out that turf now. It could be a big business for you. I'm excited about it. Now, the other questions you had in the forum were about prices. Should you have prices? A lot of people say no. You know, I, I think yes. I get, but this is personal. I get really frustrated when people, I go to a website and I can't tell. Any industry, if you're going to be in the industry, you already have an idea, right? Like if I want to get the carpet replaced in my house. Well, I don't know because I haven't replaced the carpet in my house since I moved in, right? But if you're in the carpet industry, you think, oh, everybody knows it runs roughly, you know, X dollars per square foot. And so anybody would know a 2,000 or 3,000 square foot house equals this amount of money. It seems obvious, but if you're not in the business, you don't know. And I would suggest some prices here, at least ranges, would be really helpful for people. Now, you could test this, all right, because there are, are different logics for dealing with really high-end customers, and I get that. But, man, I'd love to know if I click on this cool-looking neo black mirror TV. Uh, you know, what's in there? I don't know. You know, is a neo black mirror TV, uh, you know, $500 or $5,000 or, or $50,000? You know, I honestly have no idea <laughs> unless you tell me. So I think that would be really helpful. Um, at least from my opinion, if you're trying to capture me as a customer. Frankly, I am a pretty good target customer for this sort of thing. Um, I also noticed, by the way, that when I clicked on that, it popped out another window. It popped up off the screen over here for me, see? So I think you want to uh, make sure that all these uh, windows pop to the same place, okay? 
So there's a whole bunch of stuff. I hope that's encouraging because I am very excited about this website for you, Eva and Steve. Congratulations on the progress. I'm sure you're going to get some good uh, traffic and you're going to attract uh, a really high-end clientele that could be willing to pay you a lot of money for some very nice solutions. I'm still not entirely clear what those solutions are, but I'm sure that you're going to figure it out and present it a lot more clearly so that you can build the value here and make the money that you deserve to make with this innovative idea. Thanks again, Eva, for being such a valued member and uh, consistent participant at Click Millionaires. We really appreciate your participation, and I hope that this expert website review was helpful to you and Steve. And if you're new to this game and you're just watching this as the first review you've seen me do, well, I'm Scott Fox from ClickMillionaires.com and from ExpertWebsiteReviews.com. I do these all the time. If you'd like one for your website, visit ExpertWebsiteReviews.com or come join Click Millionaires. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon, and congratulations, Eva, on the progress to date.